And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, if you've watched my review of Flick 'Em Up, you know that I really like the game. This is the nicer version of it. They have a, a plastic version, but this is the wooden version. This version is super nice, but dun, 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 there is a bigger, better version. Now this is a version that's used maybe for conventions or just a really big deluxe version. Some games have big deluxe versions made of them. Flick 'em Up is one of those. Let's take a look and see how it differs from the regular version. So you can see this version comes in a big suitcase. This is the size. Here's my hand for comparison. The case has latches, opens up like this. Now, I'm hoping I put everything in the way we didn't take pictures and there wasn't a uh, example of how to put everything back in. The rule books here, so we have the rule book and the scenario book, which are kept in here. There's foam here in the lid that you can knock over if you want to. Inside, we have all the different pieces. They come out in plastic containers. So we have a couple, I keep knocking that over, of these plastic containers that hold the different pieces. So these all come out. This plastic container here has all the, the dudes in it, the cowboys. And then here we have these bigger boards here like this. These are, by the way, very, very sturdy, almost the same material that PVC pipes are made out of. Underneath here, we have all the different buildings in the game in that box. On the side here, we have these trays inside these boxes here. Come the different trays with the health tokens. So there's three trays on top of each other like this. And then in this box, well, it says in here that there's three cacti inside and that's it. And then over here, this stands. So that's pretty much everything. It comes out of the box. Let's show the comparison of the, uh, these components to the normal game. Okay, so lots of pieces here to look at, but you can see everything is much larger. This is more than twice as big. You can see here the piece of lumber, the blocks themselves. I mean, this is the best comparison I think of all. I think the, the new blocks are more, four times as big as the old ones. The barrels themselves, this is probably the main thing here, the shooting disc, because the, the bigger disc is gonna hurt your fingers a little bit more probably when you flick them. The cowboys themselves, this is, the new cowboy. Let's find a hat for the original cowboy for comparison. Now, the material here, this is like a really, again, this is a really good material. It's like a plastic almost as opposed to the cardboard. And so it's just much more durable and much bigger. You can have the, the little guys versus the giants, I suppose. The buildings, holy moly. This building, and again, this is really, this is like a nice thick piece of wood here for this general store building. Here's the hideout, for example, from the other game. The barrels, you can see the difference there in the barrels. Here's the difference between the two cacti, small and large. Even these, these this is the, oh, let's slid out. This is the original way where you kept track of all the stats of your characters right here. Well, here's the new one. The old one fits inside the new one. And again, a really good material on the outside here. So that's pretty much, oh, uh, the tokens, I guess I should show you. The tokens are actually not that much bigger than the old ones, but they're just more nicely organized. And instead of being little cardboard things, again, they're made of that hard plastic type stuff. And they're really nicely organized here too. It's really easy to see all the different tokens that are in the game, ooh, dynamite and such. So that's pretty much what's in this set. It's a much larger version and much nicer version of Flick 'Em Up. Now I really like Flick 'em Up, and so keeping that, I've always kept Flick 'em Up. Keeping this, is a, I, as soon as they they said you can get the convention version as a home version, I was like, yes, please. And this one's really nice. The whole fact that you can pick it up and carry it around, 
feels like a little suitcase. I like that. It's There's a lot of uh, special editions I have. I have uh, Takinoko. I had the Small World, which was a chest and everything. Those were a pain to carry around. They're just a big box. This one being a suitcase makes it very easy to transport. And it's really nicely contained in when you open up the flaps and you go inside and you're pulling out the different components. I will say the first time you get it, take a picture of it because we did not. I was like, oh, that's cool. We took everything out, took all the pieces out. Oh, how do we get it all back in? So that was a kind of a pain. But what is this? It's essentially bigger and better quality. That's, the, that's it, you know. So it's not for everyone. If you have a convention, you definitely want to get this. If you have a game group who plays big dexterity games all the time, you definitely want to get this one. This is a fun game to bring to those kind of settings. Um, just, it's it's cooler. Flick them up is fun. Flicking little discs, flicking big discs. Like I said, it might hurt your finger a little more. But other than that, just great. Knocking the people over feels really satisfying. You sit it up on a table. So this, again, I'm not, rec I'm not saying everyone needs to get a copy of this because it is expensive and it is pricey. But if you do like the game a lot and Flick 'em Up is one of my favorite games, then this is a no brainer. It's big and it's not just big and papery thin. Those are really good. I mean, they're way better quality. Now, will I keep the original game for now? Yes, why? Because there's two expansions for Flick 'em Up and I like them both. The ones that had the Native Americans, the ones that had horses, neither of those is made for the big version. So this is just the basic game, which was great, but I do like the expansions. So for now, I'm gonna be keeping both of them. If I wanna play with the expansions, I'll use a small set, but otherwise, in this case, bigger is better. Dice Tower of Judgment, excellent. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop.